uh, Barbara, how old uh, were you when you got in uh, contact with uh, Child Africa and what would have happened to you if you not have been uh, in contact with Child Africa? When I met Child Africa, I was 13 years old. You see, that was a young age. So from there, I wouldn't know, I, I didn't know what I wanted. Because the, the, before Child Africa, I'd not known the, the use of having a, a goal, a mission, I didn't know. And now, uh, I, w I think I wouldn't be anywhere. I would have got married without any vision, just to know, to have the life of living only, to eat and sleep, that would be just my, my intention. But through Child Africa, I have a vision now. I have my goals and objectives, and I am sure I have to achieve them. I'm going to achieve them. Because after my studies, I have to work with Child Africa. Because I've seen Child Africa is a place to work in. They shape you, they put you where you are supposed to be. Because, because now, that for the time I've worked with them, they have, they have made my future already. They, they teach you how to be self-confident, and the director has really motivated me very much. She has motivated me. Because now she would encourage me as a girl, you also set your goals and achieve them. You be an example to others. Now I know that I have to be to achieve my goals and I really have a, a great a great future. That has also helped me to go to the young children who are in Child Africa. I go to them, I teach them about honesty and integrity. And I see Child Africa is promoting honesty and integrity. According to me, because without Child Africa, I wouldn't know what, if you were honest, what would you gain? But now I know when you are honest, you gain much. And the, the young children in Child Africa, they have also got a chance of developing their talents. Because the young the children, if you are not well, good in academics, they have brought, they have given a chance of them joining vocational studies where you go and develop your talents. We have like children who are good in sports. They are playing football, other sports games, which has also developed their talents. Because now a child would have finished would be in the in the village without knowing their talents or developing them. But child Africa has given us a chance of developing also our talents and knowing through your goals or how are you going to fall to achieve your goals, which has helped us very much. And also, Child Africa has really motivated, motivated me. Because now I know I'm somewhere. When I'm at the university now, like at the university, I really work hard. Because, but I really work hard knowing that there's Child Africa. Oh, my, my school fees is paid. I don't worry about anything about my school fees and we paid. We pay, we pay a lot of money at the university. So I didn't have that hope of going to the university because I thought, where will I get that money? But it is future in Africa that now I'm happy. I know I'm really fantastic every day. Every day I feel fantastic. And that is also child Africa. When you go to child Africa, children, all of them, you, you, even you yourself, you will see that they are fantastic. Because they have hope. They, have, they know that they have their future. We have been having seminars with Reno. He tells us how, with your goals and objectives, being self-motivated. When you are honest, what you will achieve. When you are dishonest, you will not achieve anything. So which has helped the Child Africa children and the young ones, mostly that's what I'm happy with. The young children, they are growing up knowing that with, with honesty, you achieve your goals. And another thing that I really happy with Child Africa, it also goes and helps the deaf children. Because now we like we use sign language to talk with the deaf children who don't talk. We talked with them because I didn't know that I could meet a deaf child or a deaf person and I talk with that person. But now I feel happy that even I can meet a person who doesn't talk and I talk with you, we we'll be happy and we share words. We communicate. That is very good. Child Africa, I don't know. Child Africa is really a very good organization. It has given me hope, courage. And I know I have a future now. So that also the young children, when you go like in Child Africa, you come there, like for us in Kabbalah, when you come, you find that really there are children who know that they have hope through Child Africa. And mostly that 
people who work with Child Africa, they have also, they are also learned to be honest. They are honest now because they give us sessions. When you are honest, what you will achieve, which has also motivated the people in Child Africa, the workers, to be motivated and to know what they want. Okay, thank you. I think. Uh...